Right, so I'm absolutely filthy now. That was an absolute nightmare, guys. The wind was just blowing olive and couldn't get around the corner. Yesterday we cruised, didn't we? We said yeah. we're going to cruise Saturday, but yeah. um, changed our minds. Yeah, because it's nice. Well, the sun's actually out <coughs> at the moment, but don't we, know for how yeah. long. So we've got to go before we'll it... check the weather for yeah. today and tomorrow, and, we, and today's going to be the better of the days. So we're just going to do it today. And um, well, the weather's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice just to have a, oh. my um it's mild. my top I got from the charity the sun's shop. Sun's out. Got my jackery yeah. out. First time in ages. Um, nice not to have a coat on, to be honest. You know, we got ten locks again today. So I've got <laughs> to do, got to do one his Dad's just left for work. <coughs> yeah, Dad's gone for work. So we're at Hassel Green at the moment, and then we're going to Lawton Church. Lawton. <coughs> uh, I think it's yeah. How many miles is that? Um, Three. It's only about three miles or three and a half miles, but ten locks. Yeah, so, so take yeah, it probably quite like it did yesterday. Hours, yeah. yeah, take a while. Um, but okay. our boat's just come down, as you've seen from the drone footage. Yeah. So it is on our side at the moment. So we're kind of rushing to get on. Yeah. We're gonna get, get going. It's about ten o'clock. Mm. We're gonna get going before it before someone comes past and it's not in yeah. our favour. So. Hopefully we're going to pass Captain Gary today. Yeah, hopefully there's not much of the Trent and Mersey left unless he's on the Macclesfield. He might be on there already. I'm not sure. But hopefully we we see him today. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> nice to catch up with him. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's yes, let's go. Yeah. Enjoy the cruise, guys. Yeah. All right, let's go. So I believe I just heard the paddles go again. So I think the boat's coming down. We're all set off now. So hopefully we should get round there just as they're coming out which would be perfect so this is pier port locks and these are the only two locks that weren't doubled along the cheshire flight i don't really know why and i can't find a reason why online but there is indeed another boat coming down and it's a lone cruiser so i'm going to help him through my surprise there's another lone cruiser coming down he's just waiting in that lock for us to come out because it's quite a short pound here mum can't turn until she's out the lock so I've got hold of the rope just in case the wind blows her that way
that big hill over there is Mokop, and there's also a castle on it called Mokop Castle too. The Makosu Canal goes alongside it, so that's not the last we're going to see of it. We're going into Fairwood now, Mum's decided to do this lock and I'm going to take the boat in for once and I think it's probably the last time I will because this lock seemed to be narrower than all the others and we actually got wedged in here because we left the fenders up I didn't think it would be a problem, most of the time it's not a problem it's only really a problem on the Clang Offlin and, and I went down the gunnels which I do not recommend doing inside a lock there's no room and you're going to get your backside really really mucky and horrible but I wasn't thinking at that moment because people were watching me. I mean, what would I have done anyway? I can't pull the fenders up, they're wedged. So the only thing to do was reverse back out, which is what I should have done in the first place. Right, so I'm absolutely filthy now. All on my backside. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. Um, left the fenders up again. But usually it's not a problem on the Trenton Mersey. Usually that's just the lang off there. Other narrow canals, but yeah, we're gonna have to lift, lift the fenders up from now on on this canal. Not taking any more chances. Well, after I found that, I quickly ran in and changed my clothes faster than I ever have before. It got mud all over my jumper, and then it seeped through to my t shirt underneath, and on my jeans, and then through to my underwear. So I had to change everything. The reason I put a furrowwood and road heath here is because originally they were two separate villages. But since extensive housing development in furrowwood, the two are now known simply as road heath. Okay, Paddle. This is a trading boat here that sells sweets, homemade fudge, all sorts. It's a shame we didn't have to walk back today.
bit of a tight old bend this one as you can see just a bit of reversing did the job though went around Someone's got a broken paddle. Again, mum can't move until she's fully out of the lock, so she has no other choice but to head off the concrete. She still can't get around that corner. There we go, she's off. I told her to push the front out, and that's done the job. Look at the size of the wall, Mum. Look how dry it is. What the hell? Why is it so quiet? I don't know. So I've come up to Lex Lock now because it's completely against us. Um, just so I can empty the paddles and get ready while well, Mum's coming up still. No, this lock does not have gate paddles, although it does look like it. It's just really leaky. It's a really windy day today, guys, with gusts of 30 mile an hour winds. So it's blowing olive just against this concrete, and it's so powerful that even when you push it off, it just goes back in. Now, obviously, we can't turn until we get to that winding hole there, and then when we get to the winding hole, there's not enough space to turn. So it's an absolute nightmare, this was. Eventually, I told Mum to reverse back as far as she could into the exit of the lock we just came out of so she would have enough room to be able to manoeuvre and turn around. Which is what she did, but unfortunately that wind was just too strong and we had to hit the arm coat front. But the benefit of that is it got us around the corner. Albeit in the wrong lock because this one's broken. So now I have to come down the stairs and pull the front round. 
This whole ordeal took about 20 minutes, and that allowed the crew of four, which were behind us, to catch up. That was an absolute nightmare guys. The wind was just blowing olive and couldn't get around the corner. Um, yeah, I'm a bit angry at the moment. Yeah, well at least you got around there. It's crikey. Yeah. I was probably smashed your boat with this little eight, but... Yeah, nothing you can do about it. I had to go really fast. What luck is that? Okay, we've got two more. As you can see, those people have caught us up now. Because I think there's about three or four of them. <laughs> we had a bit of a pickle today. Yeah, it's not been uh, smooth cruising, has it? No, that, the, just there, trying to get over to the right lock, it's just... Absolutely. Just the wind just kept blowing me and blowing me. With the crew of four now one lock behind us, I had to work at maximum efficiency to try and get through the locks before they caught up. Wow, look at these locks. They look like abandoned, they look like locks on abandoned canals, like the Shrewsby and Newport had gates like this. I wonder when they were last used. If anyone knows, let me know. I'll be interested. The pound between these two locks is so short that I don't even think you could switch with the boat coming down. This has to be probably one of the worst lock exits because we can't actually turn the boat until we hit the front of it. And then we've got to try and make it round the corner, but we have no room to manoeuvre the boat. There's rings all the way along here, and that's where I plan to moor, but it's a bit narrow with all those weeds on the other side, so we decide to go a bit further. And this is where Dad's going to park on this bridge here. Hopefully we can moor just past. But there's no rings, and it's all gravel, so I don't think we'll be able to get pins in, so we must go on. And just around the corner is a flight of another six locks before you go into Red Bull. But luckily we managed to find some rings on the corner here. Mm. Oh, what up. a cruise. Mm. As you'll be out, as you'll see. I didn't go very smoothly. Look, we're alright, it's just the wind again. Mm. Well, firstly, like, and the fender getting stuck. Fender's getting stuck, yeah. That's our fault again. We will lift them up now, from now on. Yeah. We've learned our lesson. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I ruined my clothes doing that. <laughs> I didn't even think, because I was anxious because people were watching. I didn't even think I should have got on the roof or just reverse back and picked them up, which is what I did. Which did end. in the end, yeah. I just, I've just had to put the wa in the wash because I don't know if I'll get it off. Yeah. I could only put it on 30, so I thought I'd quickly put the engine back on and wash. You look baby. Yeah, I'm quite exhausted now. I've done 10 locks <laughs> on my own, but. I've done one of them. Yeah, Mum done one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I had to rush around because at the end, you saw the wind just wasn't letting us turn, and because you had to come out at such an awkward ankle. Angle. Angle. Um, yeah, all these lots. A few a lot, quite They're a few set like up for the 70 boats, really. And it makes you laugh because you've got, you've got two there, and every single one apart from one, there's only one open, <laughs> yeah. isn't there? Yeah, they all broke. Your baby. 
Um, but yeah, they're not set up. So as you come out of the lock, you just hit the front of the boat every time. Oh, you don't want to turn show, until you get I don't want to show my hand either, lacking. It's taken a lot of hits today, but yeah. nothing we can do about it. No, I had to go really, as you will see, I had to go really fast to turn because I went and hit the other side, but then you can't get the back end because, no. you know, you've got, oh, you just can't get round. So. Luckily, you managed to just get round into the first channel yeah, and that would be fine. You were in the lock, but no, it's broken, isn't it? <laughs> <coughs> so Which Josh was stand. shouting at me that it was, but you can't hear anything, so I think we're going to have to get our walkie yeah. talkies out a bit like... Nikki and Nikki and Gary. Okay. What was that? I think it was your phone. Oh. Um. Yeah. I think we might need the walkie-talkies now. Uh -huh. I, was, I was shouting and people were staring and you know. Just... No, but even well, we had a we had a nice nice day. The weather was nice, hmm. which was a bonus. Bit of <sighs> bit of sun we saw. But yeah, as Mum was trying to do that. There was a boat getting closer and closer coming up. They were coming pretty fast because they had a bigger crew than us. So they they could do the locks more efficiently. So I'm just by myself doing them. Well, if yeah. you were alone cruising, you'd have no chance. Yeah, it's perfect. You know, three, a crew of three is perfect, really. But yeah, the pressure was getting to me a bit and I, I was rushing. <laughs> and um, yeah, it all went a bit crazy. But I managed to, managed to get ahead of them, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know where they Just are about. actually. They've. I think they probably moored up back there. We didn't yeah. moor up back there because it's too narrow. Um, I think they've moored up back there. <laughs> yeah, the reeds were, as I said earlier, the reeds were right across, so you couldn't. Mm. Nobody be able to get past you. And when, like Josh said, with this wind, they'd just be blown into you anyway. Yeah. We yeah, we were rushing around so much that we didn't really even stop and appreciate the view. It's lovely around it. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Beautiful views and stuff. Lovely. <laughs> Getting quite up, high up now near the Peak District. Um, yeah. We'll be on the lot, Macclesfield, lot. won't we, Ash? Yeah. Hey, we'll be on the Macclesfield soon. We're a mile from the Macclesfield, but there is about six locks between us and the Macclesfield canal, um, which we'll be doing Monday. Yeah, well, when Andy's there. Get some water as well. and Get rid of our rubbish. The facilities point of Red Bull. Um, Red Bull? I wonder whether that Red Bull was made I there. Don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, but... but maybe. Um, yeah, so you'll see us Monday again. We're going to stay here for the weekend. It's yeah. probably going to be quite a busy spot. There's a train track when you're there, and there must be a public footpath because they have to beep. So Yeah, so I just hope that's not going on all night. No. <laughs> um, oh, let's hope not. Yeah. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching, yeah, everybody, and coming with us. And, um, yeah, our viewers, you know, thanks for keep supporting us. Mm. It's been great, isn't it? Yeah, we do appreciate it. Everyone watching us. And, um, and our, our di we love our dinghy drums. adventures. We can't yeah. wait for more dinghy adventures. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get going then. Yeah, so see tired. you later. <laughs> <laughs>